In this video, we'll see how to get Microsoft Teams channel messages in Telegram automatically. So let's say you're using Microsoft Teams to communicate with your Teams and every time there's a new message, you want this message to be also shared on Telegram like to your team. How would you do that? You will have to integrate these two applications and you can do this to automate this process with the help of Pavli Connect software. Here, your trigger application would be Microsoft Teams and your action application would be Telegram. Now, let me take you to my screen and show you how exactly you would do this. So, let us begin with the process. The first thing that we have to do is we have to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and then click on enter. As we do that, it will take us to the landing page of the software. Here on the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, you can simply sign in. And if you are the new user, then you have to click on this tab and sign up for free and it will not take more than two minutes. Here at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. Now, since I'm an existing user, I'm going to simply sign in. Now it has taken me to the all apps page. So here, since we are doing this integration using Pabli Connect software, so let's click on access now. And now this has taken us to the dashboard. Here on the right hand side, you can see a blue tab, create workflow. I'm going to click on this and a dialog box appears, which is asking us to name this workflow. So here, what do we wish to do? We have to get Microsoft Teams channel messages in Telegram automatically. So I'm going to name this as Microsoft Teams to Telegram. Integration. And let's click on Create. So as we do that, Another window appears where we can see two very important events. One is trigger and another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger says when this happens and action here says do this. Here action is the response of the trigger. So here since we want that every time there is a message on Microsoft Teams, the same message should be reflected on our Telegram group. So the Trigger application would be Microsoft Teams. Now, what would be the trigger event? What would happen so that the workflow can run? Here, there should be a new channel message. So let's click on this. And now I'm going to click on connect. So here, Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Microsoft Teams account. For this, I'm going to click on add new connection and then click on connect with Microsoft Teams. I have already logged into my Microsoft Teams account. And here it is asking for permission to just review the organization. I'm going to click on accept. And here the authorization is successful. Now we have to select the team. So I'm first going to take you to my team and show you that these are the teams and you can create your own team. So here, if you can see join or create a team, you can create your own team. And these are the channels, general, Pabli team, Parampara review. So these are the few channels that we have created. And now here we are going to work on Pabli team channel. So let's start a new conversation. Hello team. We have a meeting at 3 p.m. on Monday. That's it. So this is the message that I need to share with my team. So I've already sent it on Microsoft Teams. My objective is that every time there's a message sent on Microsoft Teams, automatically the same message should be shared on Telegram as well. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. And here I'm going to click on Save and Send Test Request. So here you can see that we have received the API response. So if I take you down, so this is the web URL and the display name and then as we come down this is the body content basically this is the message and if i take show you this so this is the message hello team we have a meeting at 3 pm on Monday. but here there is one thing this has come in the html format and we want it in the markdown format basically without the html thing so here i'm going to add another action step and this time i'm going to use a feature by Pabli which is text formatter. Let's click on this. And here the action event would be text basic formatting. Now I'm going to click on connect here. So once connected, so we are going to map the string that we wish to change. So the string is this, the message. 
and now how do we want to transform it markdown to html or remove html tags we want to remove html tags so i'm going to click on this and save and send test request so here you can see that we have received the message without the html tags now the next action step is to choose the application telegram and now click on telegram bot here the action event would be send a text message or a reply html so now let's click on connect and here we will have to add new connection because public connectors is asking to connect itself with the telegram bot account to set up this connection we need a token now how would we receive this token for for this we'll have to first go to our telegram account and then we'll have to look for bot father and then create a new conversation with the help of slash new bot so now i'm going to take you to my telegram account so this is my telegram account and here i'm going to search for bot father let's click on this and now here i have to start a new conversation so i'm going to click on start slash new bot so to create a new bot we have to write this and now we have to choose a name for our bot so let's say the name is so this is the name and uh, now we have to choose a username so let's say again the name is ms teams new underscore bot so your bot username should always end with bot so let's click on enter and here we have received the token to access the http api basically this is the token which is going to help us to connect this uh, application with pably connect so i'm going to copy this so i'm going to copy this here and then click on save so once done, this means that Telegram and Public Connect, these two applications are now connected. Now the next thing that we require is the chat ID. Now to receive this chat ID, I'll have to go to my Telegram account. Now to get this chat ID, first we will have to create a group. So let's say that here I'll click and I'll click on new group. Let's say I need this person and then I'll go down this and I also want to add my bot that I've recently created. So what was my bot? MS Teams new. So this is my bot. Let's click on this and now I'm going to create the group. How would I name my group? So let's say it is MS India new. So this is the name of my group. Now I'm going to click on enter. So once this group has been created, so the bot, so if I'll take you to the members, so these are the members here, this bot that you have selected, you, you have to give this bot the admin rights. So I'm going to do that with the help of my phone. So here I have made MS Teams new, this bot, the admin. So once done, now here what we are going to do is, this is the chat ID. So you can see in the URL bar, this is the chat ID. I'm going to copy this down, go back to public connect and paste this chat ID here. Remember that you have to put a hyphen in front of this. Once done, now we have to map the text message. So we already have the text message without the HTML tags. I'm going to map it from this. And once done, I'm going to click on save and send test request. So here you can see that we have received the response. This is the chat title. This is the chat ID and the type. And then if I go down, this is the message, the result text. So hello team, we have a meeting at 3 p.m. on Monday. Now we need to check if we have received this message on the group that we have recently created on Telegram. So I'm going to take you to Telegram. And here you can see that, yes, we have received the message. Basically, this means that this integration is totally successful. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to test this in real time. I'm going to go to my Microsoft Teams and I'm going to start a new conversation. So let's say the uh, hello team. And this time I'm writing, this is the message. Now I'm going to click on enter as now if I take you back to public connect here, you can see that this trigger will check for new data in every eight hours, which means the application that we have has a pooling time of eight hours. So basically here, this workflow will run and after every eight hours, it will check the message and that message will be then posted on telegram. So we are going to wait for eight hours and then I'm going to see if yes, we have received a message on Telegram or no. So now here you can see that yes, we have received another message, which is hello team, the meeting has been cancelled. I'll share the report on the group. 
so now this means that this entire process is successful the integration that we have done here is totally successful now i'm going to take you back to my pably connect page and just understand the process so here for this microsoft teams to telegram integration the first trigger application was microsoft teams where we had chosen our event as new channel message then we had added another action a text formatter by pably which is a feature by pably where we had changed remove basically the html tags from the message and then the final action step was telegram bot where we had chosen the event as send a text message or a reply html i hope this is very much clear to you in case you have got any doubt you can refer to the workflow the same workflow is given in the description box and you can even clone this workflow and start to process immediately in case you have any other advice or suggestion you can always write to us